I'm Anthony Dayton, Chief Technology Officer and Head of Products for ClickTech. I'm going to take a few minutes and give you a quick overview of our vision for ClickView Next. Our idea for ClickView Next was to make a product that, was, that anybody could use. And to do that, we needed to appeal to people's natural decision-making abilities. We call this idea natural analytics. It comes from the idea that as human beings, we've evolved facilities for making decisions with data. Now this is easy to talk about, but frankly, it's a little easier if you actually just see it. And what better way to do that than using a really natural interface, a touch interface on my tablet. When I start my morning with ClickView, I start on what we call the hub. And the hub gives me an overview of all of the work I'm doing. So you can see here's the work I'm working on. And down the left here, I have a series of what we call streams. And these streams are security groups for which I have the right to view the analysis in that security group. And there may be one that I'm persistently a member of, say the finance group, and there may be a different one, this general business group, that I've been added to temporarily because this is a team I've just joined and we're working on some stuff together. But that's always down the left. Now, right here, I have my work, and these are click views that I'm building, and it's right from here that I can go ahead and launch a click view and begin my analysis. Now, when I launch into the click view, I don't start with a sheet. I start with an overview of the application, allowing me to center myself and understand where I might want to jump into that analysis. Down the left, I have my sheets, maybe some bookmarks, giving me a persistent view or a, being able to go back to a view that I had previously, and stories, which I'll come back to in a moment. So let's jump into this sheet, this sales dashboard sheet right here. And when I jump into the sheet, you can see I get a quick overview of all of the information. Um, now, what's nice about ClickView is it turns out the iPad screen is actually pretty small. And so when we sh take some of these objects and shrink them down, it's hard to see the details behind them. So I take this line uh, chart right here. I might want to take this line chart and really be able to look at it, but I want to see some of the details behind it. And I can do that by simply maximizing it. When I make it maximum, you can see down here the year and month field. Right, so I get a lot more detail and overview. And that's also true, for instance, of the scatter plot. I can make that bigger and I can see all the details. And you can see how we've added labels to some of these points as I've made it bigger, because now we have the space to draw the label. But there's a group down here that I'm interested in that I can't see the labels for. And how do I find them? Well, exactly what you'd expect. I just go ahead and pinch and zoom in and see those labels that I'm interested, those uh, points that I'm interested in. And if I want to select these, you do exactly what you would expect. You simply draw a circle around them. And we're off and running. Now I've made that selection. And when I come back to the more overview uh, view, I can see I have the same set of sales reps selected and all the rest of the charts have updated in the context of that selection. You can see here I have a more tabular view of the data, right? And you know I can sort that by sales amount or by back order amount, quickly sorting and seeing relationship among the data. This bar chart also provides me a good opportunity to show you something cool. Often users want to uh, select a set of bars by you know, tapping on them, exactly what you expect, but sometimes they want to select a series of categories, and they can do that by just selecting along the axis. Or perhaps I want to select these middle range of bars. I can do that on that axis. Or perhaps I want to use the actual um, legend to select a set of bars right here. So these are very natural behaviors, natural metaphors for making selections in the application, and I do them literally just by touching. Now, as I've been making selections in the app, you see that up here on the top, I've been creating a series of little list boxes which give me an overview of what I've selected, and if I want to add to that selection, maybe I want to toss bread into there as well, I can do that right from here. Now, this is fine, uh, but how hard is it to add one of these uh, sheets myself? Well, I can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and add a sheet and jump in. Now, when I start the sheet, of course, it's empty. So I have to edit it uh, to add some things to it. So let's go into the library. I don't start by uh, having access to every field in the application. I start with a series of measures and dimensions which may be relevant to me uh, and useful to me uh, from an analytic perspective. So I can take, uh, maybe I'll take channel name and drag that over here. Uh, so that's, I'll put that right there. 
and maybe I'll put product group, uh, put that right here. And make it a little wider. And maybe product subgroup. Notice that with the grid, when I drop this field down here, it splits this list box in half, letting me know that if I drop it right here, it's going to go beneath. Now, it's also the case that I'd like to add a little bar chart right here. So let's go ahead and uh, maybe I'll do some more analysis about our margin. So I'm going to take margin amount and drop it here. Now, margin amount is a measure, of course, so it's asking me to add a dimension so it knows how to calculate the margin amount, and we'll do that by product group. When I drop product group on there, I quickly get a bar chart which shows me my margin by product group. And what does it take for me to wire all these things together? What if I, for instance, want to see the margin for our catalog business? I simply click on it, and there's the margins for our catalog business. And if I'm interested in these high margin items in our catalog business, selecting on the axis, here are deli, produce, and frozen foods, our high margin items in the catalog business. Simple, easy, drag and drop, very natural. Now we talk a lot about uh, ClickView so far. It's really been an analytic experience. I've been analyzing the data. But the other half of analysis is persuasion. I want to convince you of a conclusion that I've drawn from my analysis. And we do that using storytelling. So I can start right from in within here and I can launch into my stories that I've added. And I've taken the liberty of writing a little story here about our top customers. And I can go ahead and put that into full screen mode and tell you a story about our top customers. Most of them are international. And I can sort of cycle through. Here's at the top products that our customers buy. And here's other products that our top customers have bought. And here are the sales reps I think we should begin our new segmentation strategy with. And you're probably really convinced about my great presentation, about uh, my insights from this click view. But you might even have some questions. You might question me about these particular sales reps that I selected. And what's nice about storytelling is I can jump straight from the story back into analysis mode in the context of the selection I had when I came to that conclusion. And here are those sales reps that we were going to target. And maybe you don't think Sandra is a good person to have as part of the group. And you think rather I should select these. And I can go ahead and do that. And now we can have an intelligent debate about the segmentation strategy conclusion that I came to. And when we're ready, we can go right back into storytelling mode and I can continue my story. So I hope you've gotten a sense for ClickView Next as a very natural, easy to interact with product that appeals to my senses uh, and my skills as a decision maker with a touch interface that's simple and easy to use. And then I can move from that analytic experience straight into a storytelling mode and back to help persuade you of the conclusions I've come to in my analysis. I thank you for your time, and I look forward to working with you on ClickBee Next. Thanks.